I'm Dr. Greg Gerber. I'm a physical medicine and rehabilitation physician from Houston, Texas. I did my training uh, first at Yale and then with the Medical University of South Carolina and then on to Baylor University for my training in physical medicine and rehab. <clears throat> I too, around 1980, uh, began my career uh, in energy medicine and I was a direct tutelage of a fellow by the name of Jose Silva. For some of you folks who are a little older in the room, you may recognize his name. And at that time, uh, it was called the Silva Mind Control Method, and now it's called the Silva Method. And I studied very diligently, and that gentleman changed my life, which if you were around his program, his goal was to change people's lives. And he certainly did, and I stayed with him until uh, he did his transition in 1999. So I spent more than 19 years as one of his most direct physicians in his organization, and I did all levels of training with him, up into, but not including being an instructor in his program. So I have practiced on both sides of medicine, uh, somewhat in hospital setting as a rehabilitation physician, uh, running a, a practice in Houston, Texas. Uh, I grew a very large practice. I have a very successful practice. I've been chief of internal medicine at my hospital and recognized in the memorial system, uh, which is the second largest system in, in Houston, not in the medical complex, but in the, the community where you are the largest community-based hospital. And I have uh, practiced there and been everything but chief of staff. I have opened six other hospitals uh, during the course of my practice, so I've always been interested in leading in leadership uh, aspects of medicine. I have balanced both the allopathic in the energy medicine aspects in my in my practice uh, and sometimes that's a lot of fun uh, and generally I like to have a lot of fun but I've walked both sides so I learned to do distant non-local healing all that stuff that we now talk about 25 years ago and have used it on a daily basis during the course of that in my service to humanity and the folks that came into my my experiences so that after you're exposed to this for a very brief period of time, you have to get this out. And it's a detoxification process. So how many people are familiar with the concept detoxification? Good. So at any rate, this occurs and it happens very, very quickly. Some of the other things that happens when you're in the field is your left and right brain hemisphere stabilize and start working synchronously. So if you want to learn things real well, it's a super learning state and there are a multitude of other elements that go on. But in my medical practice, I'm seeing remarkable things happen to my folks because this is a very passive thing where I don't have to do anything. I take someone, you'll go in there. Some of you who are energy sensitive will feel something. The vast majority of the folks don't feel a darn thing, but they chill out. They get the relaxation response. And if they actually fall asleep, that they get the maximal effect and over the next several, some folks instantaneously, but over the next several days, things happen for folks as they go through this detoxification process. Reported changes with ALS. Remarkable studies with ALS. I see folks with stroke. I see strokes, folks with spinal cord injury. I see folks with the arthritis. Major changes in studies going on in diabetes. We have things going on uh, where if you go in and you have diabetic issues or issues with glucose monitoring or, or control issues, we're seeing insulin resistance. People's demand for, for their hypoglycemics, orals and or their, their utilization of their insulin go down. One hour exposure. One fellow has 100% of his patients who are exposed have to check their blood sugars the next morning because they are going to require reduced amounts of oral hypoglycemics. If they choose not to listen to that, they, some people actually get hypoglycemic responses and end up in somebody else's office addressing that issue. So really, really radical stuff going on here. But here in the United States, or excuse me, in the United States, not necessarily here, we're calling this a wellness product. Okay, this is a wellness product. Some of those things I just mentioned to you are reported to me. Some of them I will report to you that I have seen. But this is a wellness product that we're going to, to do like. You have it here. It is a totally passive product. 
all you have to do is go in there and fall asleep. And that's the <laughs> other thing that I talk to my doctors about who are going, <laughs> come on, Greg. I say, look, I've got a unit over here in Houston at the Enhancement Institute. It's open on Saturday and Sunday. What are you doing on Saturday and Sunday afternoon? I'm saying, we're sleeping. I say, if you don't want to go there, come to my house and take a snooze at my place. And I'm inviting folks over to use the docks, to use it, so that they get the exposure and feel more comfortable. Now, the other side of, the, of this is I want you to know that over the years, doctors have always sent me their families. Doctors aren't so dumb. Okay? They don't know what I do. They've never figured out what I do. They know I've never heard of a single person. I generally use next to no medication. I prescribe less than 15 prescriptions a year. Wow. Wow. So they send me, and my joke is they send me their wives and their daughters, and they come themselves. And I know I'm doing okay because they're still doing that. I know I've gone a little bit too far. If and when they start sending me their ex-wives, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> so at any rate, this, this, this piece of equipment is a wonderful piece of equipment. It is the most effective thing I have ever seen. I, too, have been over in the, in the previous Soviet Union. We were in Kiev earlier this year, and they are on it. When I'm talking to the guys over there, when we're talking to the physicians over there, they weren't asking if this thing worked. They want to know how it works. Spin, left, right. They're asking tachyons all the right questions, which isn't the audience that I find in North America. And it's, that's just not the audience. And the GDV, <laughs> they don't know what the GDV is. They're still trying to figure out what Carillion was. And that's right. God knows that's 25 years ago. <laughs> that's true. That is very true. Okay. Uh, she was asked, as part of her calling, she had been treating patients as I am and working with individuals, many, many thousands upon thousands of people, though she's still so young. Uh, she, she was seeing all these folks, and she got a calling to make something, a piece of equipment that emulated her healing capacities so that we could get it out to the masses. One-on-one -on -one was wonderful. She was training other people to do that. Still wasn't getting enough done. So she says, who, me? How do I do this? And she was told to utilize computers to generate an energy field. And it was emulate her healing capacities. In time, one of the capacities of her equipment is something that we now call zero-point energy or scalar energy. And that's one of the elements that's there. Now, scalar energy, I'm a physical medicine doc, okay? So I'm supposed to know about heat, cold, all the modalities. All right. This is a non-Hertzian, non-linear, third, non-third dimensional, fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional energy field. Okay. Okay, you got it, guys? Yeah. I'm going to just like that. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah we're going to play the game. Did you get it? Okay. It's physics. I, I, I'm going to dumb it down because this is what I do to my you compatriots in the doctor's lounge. Okay? You want to repeat it? I dumb it down so the doctors can understand. I say, hey, guys, how many of you guys have looked at cell biology since you left medical school? Uh, okay, well, we figured out cell biology happens at the cell membrane, that our interaction with our environment is at the cell membrane. Okay. So I break it down to that. I said, okay, how many of you guys have looked at any physics since you left college? Whoa, everybody <laughs> does. <laughs> okay. This takes physics from post-Einstein forward. Okay, so it's 60 years old. Okay. And we're finally bringing something together that will do this. And what it is is an energy field, and it has properties of each and every cell in your body has a membrane potential from the outside to the inside that is supposed to be at minus 70 to minus 90 millivolts. There's a charge field there. As we age or get illnesses, this membrane potential goes down, minus 70, minus 60, minus 50, around there the arthritis, minus 40, more serious systemic disease, the oncolytic processes, oncology type stuff, minus 25. When the human body is introduced to the field, each and every cell in your body goes back to minus 70, minus 90 